I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find x and y intercepts of quadratic functions. We are given quadratic functions in factored form. Question is determine x and y intercepts for each of the following. So here we have quadratic equations in factored form. This one you can also say factored form and vertex form. Right. To find x and y intercepts, what is important to understand is that for y intercept, x should be 0, for x intercept, y should be 0, correct? So let's begin by finding y intercept. So when I say y intercept, it means what? It means a point where the line or the graph, the curve of the graph crosses y axis. At that point, x is going to be 0. So let us find y intercept for all the three and then we'll do x intercepts. So let us substitute x equals to 0 and find y intercept. For the first one, we get y equals to 0 minus 1 times. Anything times 0 will be 0, right? So that gives us minus 1 times 1, right? That is indeed minus 1. So the y intercept here is is 0 minus 1. Right? So that is, I mean, 0 minus 1. That's the coordinate point. In this particular case, if I substitute x as 0, what do I get? I get y equals to minus 2 times 0 times 0 plus 5. As you know, 0 times anything is 0. Therefore, we get y intercept as 0, which is in fact the origin. So, origin is the y intercept for this particular equation. Here, y intercept will be half times 0 minus 3 whole square which gives us 9 over 2 and therefore the y intercept will be 0 is the x coordinate value 9 over 2 or 4.5 you can write as the y intercept right now let us see how to find x intercept for x intercept y is equal to 0. So now I substitute y equals to 0 and solve these equations, right? So let me rewrite these equations with y equals to 0. You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion, right? So this is the first equation, y is 0. The next one, y is 0, we get minus 2x times 0 plus 5. And the third one, I'm placing y as 0, writing the equation as half times x minus 3 whole square. Now the first one, which is a for us given as 0 equals to x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. I mean 2x plus 1, right? Okay, when will this be 0? You need to equate each factor to 0. If I equate x minus 1 to 0, I get x equals to 1. And if I equate 2x plus 1 equals to 0, I get x equals to minus 1 divided by 2. So there are two x intercepts in this case. So I can write my x intercepts at 1 and 0, that is a y value, and at minus half and 0, right? So that is how we could do it for part A, right? Now let's do the second one. Now in this case, if I s substitute, I need now this is 5, right? Let me write this as minus 2x times 5 or minus 10x. Now that clearly indicates that x should be 0, right? So x is equal to 0. We already had y intercept at origin. That means x intercept is also at origin, right? So the x intercept is also at origin. Now in this particular case, 0 equals to half of x minus 3 whole square. When I multiply by 2, I get 0 times 2 as 0 equals to x minus 3 whole square. If I square root, even then it is 0, square root of 0 is 0, x minus 3. Now clearly x equals to 3 is the solution, which I could have got from here itself. This will be 0 when x is equals to 3, right? So we have only one x intercept in this case, and that one is at 3 0. So what you note here is that all these equations have one y-intercept. Remember every quadratic function 
will have one y intercept always right but as far as the x intercepts are concerned we might get two x intercepts we might get one in x intercept or there may be a case where we may not get any x intercept now for that case let me give you a question to solve let me say that is d right in this case we do not have any x intercept but we will have y intercept the equation is y equals to let us say x square plus 4 can you solve this equation and find x and y intercepts let that be your exercise I'm Anil Kumar. I hope you have learned from my videos. Subscribe and share. Thank you and all the best.